hello everyone good morning um please guys just listen to me because what i'm about to say now is going to really shock you so kidnappers now are now creating instagram account sending dm to people just to kidnap them so yesterday around 4 p.m someone sent me a dm telling me they want to use me for a commercial advert for nine mobile so i was like okay no problem then they told me to photocopy some of my credentials my nin my birth certificate and my o-level results and bring it to their office at Ikeja. So I was like, okay, since it's so late, can I bring it the next day? They were like, no, I have to bring it that same day. That before we get to Ikeja, because I stay on the island, that time would have gone and I should bring it to where they would be at Chico Republic inside Total Filling Station, opposite Radisson Blue, at the back of Chevron. That was how they directed me to the Chico Republic. So when I got to Chico Republic around 9 p.m. in the night, I called the woman I was talking to. Then a man now picked the call. I was now asking him where the woman was, Mrs. Queen Akbobome. So the woman, it was not like he's the one in charge now that expecting me. The woman went to get something. So I was like, okay, fine. Where are you? I'm out. I'm outside Czech Republic. Then he now told me where he was. I went to meet him because I was with my PA. So when I got there with my PA, he was so angry that I brought somebody with me and was telling me that they don't need a third party in this business. I was like, she's not a third party. She's my PA. Then he was like, I should send her back home. Then I was now dumbfounded and I was like, what's going on here? In my mind, I was like, okay, fine. I have to now book Uber for my PA. No, they don't know that me booking that Uber for my PA was for me and my PA to go back home. They were thinking I was just booking the Uber for my PA just to go home. So I didn't say anything. I was just calm. I'm just observing what was going on. Then immediately, um, two guys pulled up in a Pojo car and were talking to the man. So I was, cause it was an open environment. I people are buying food and everything. I didn't really, I didn't really want to bother because they can't just grab me like that and put me in their car or something. So I was still standing beside the car with the man. After they finished talking to the man, the man now left them and started talking to me and gave me the contract that okay, this is what I'm supposed to sign and everything. Uh, I should give him my credentials. I was like, no, let me hold my credentials first. Like I have to read this contract before I sign them. So that's why I'm, I want to take it home. Then the man was like, no, I, I'm not going to take any contract home. I have to stay there and sign it. So I was like, okay, fine. I was going through the contract and everything. Then before you know it, then the man now got a call and said that, that I, should, I should come with him to where Mrs. Queen Akwabome was. I said, where is the location at? He said, in, uh, at uh, Okwabi. So they now said, ah, okay. And I said, um, okay, where in Okwabi? They now say, well, there's one office that is there that, uh, ah, what, what's going to happen? That is the open environment and everything. So, so the way, where the thing was, I now entered the, his car with my, with my PA. So when I, when we were now going to the place, so I've already booked Uber already for my PA to be, to go home. So when I now got to Okwebi, I had to be put the, we changed the destination, uh, the location I was to, because when I saw Presken, where I was, Presken Hotel, so I had to put the destination back at Presken so the Uber can locate me where I was. So after I finished changing the, my location on the map, so the same guys that pulled up at Czech Republic now came up. Now came again at that that um, Preston side I was. So when when they now came, I now came down from the car. Like, okay, where is the place? I had to come down from the car fast, so I don't want anything to happen. Like I was just trying to be cautious of myself. So immediately my PA came down with me too. So she was feeling uh, uncomfortable. So I understand how she was feeling, and me I was so uncomfortable too. So. I don't know what this guy was talking about, and before you know it, they said, the, the, the man now started telling me that I have to follow them now, that I have to send my PA back home. I was like, okay, I already booked a, a ride for her. The ride is almost here so that we can, I can put her in, in and we can now go to where we are going to. The man was so assured and so reassured that, okay, my, when he right now got there, I now put my PA into inside the inside the car, and when I wanted to now enter the car, the man started shouting, "No, that I can't enter the car. That how can I lose a lifetime opportunity like this? They're going to give me two bedroom flat in Agungi. They're going to pay me one million naira every month as my salary, and they're going to give me an official car. Would I want everything to waste that? I say I can wait for next time that, or I'll come tomorrow to submit everything. So I was still with my credentials, and I gave him back his contract and everything, and he was telling me that if I don't do this thing that night, that I will lose the opportunity and the next batch is going to be March or April. I was like, since it's a lifetime opportunity, something, do they have badges? 
so the man now said that i should just put my pa and, and since i was recommended to them so i have to just follow them do i want to do opportunity like this i was like i don't mind losing the, the opportunity i want to just go home and really i shut the door of the ride and that was how i left that place please guys oh please everybody should just be careful these people are they use different strategies to chat people regardless of whether if you're a man they will use different strategies to chat you if you're a lady they will use different scope to chat you to just get you out of your house and do what they want whatever they want to do with you so if i was not contented with what i have or if i had a very big eyes to look for things that i know that is is i don't know I would have just fallen into their trap and i don't even know what would have been my fate today so please guys everybody should just be careful out there please everybody should just stay safe and be very observant of the people they're hanging around with and the kind of people they're replying to on their instagram dm please guys share this and let everybody know about this thank you